Okay, now it's time to make a really fast and generic pedal for it. So let's go ahead and go to my model quad view so I can see better. And my right view here, because of the way I got it turned, yours may be different because of the way you have it oriented. Now I'm going to go to a new mesh and I'm going to get my tube tool with a radius of about four millimeters. And I'm going to click right here and right there. Okay, now you'll see we got this little tube starting here. Okay, I'm going to take it up like this. And just fool with it till you get it looking how you want to get it looking. I want to try and get it to look a little bit like a pedal. But I am not going to sit with and fool with it too long. Just because we haven't got that much time on YouTube. Okay, I think that's going to be good enough for now. Let's zoom in here and see what we got here. As you can see, there's our little part. So let's hit the space bar and grab it. And let's move it back and roughly lay it in. see here it is so let's go back to our model view and there is our little pedal fast and quick pedal there's a lot better ways to do this kind of thing but as you can see we're gonna be looking at this from a distance as a product shot and detail is not something we're really worried about um, it's not this type of model so we're, we're lucky there that's why this is an intermediate lesson and not an advanced lesson an advanced lesson this wouldn't pass this this ain't gonna this ain't gonna work right there but for what we're doing here is this will work but just remember, this is not something you really want to turn in to your boss. You know, it's it's got some unevenness to it, some bumpiness to it. And when you smooth it out, it kind of looks more like a tube than a type of metal. But we can fix this in texturing and it will hide a lot of this stuff. So, okay, anyways. Okay, let's cut this out. Command X. Let's go back to our original wagon and paste it in there. Now as you can see what we got here. Let's go ahead and make our little generic pedal to go on top of that. So let's get a box. And we'll draw out a pedal here. Not like that. How thick are petals? About that thick. I'm just eyeballing this. So now let's let's cut this up, okay, with our loop slices. Okay. I'm gonna cut down through here. I'm gonna cut down through here. Yeah, I want to cut up this way. like so okay and for now that's going to do is select this polygon and this polygon and let's go to duplicate bridge and let's bridge those let's do the same thing with this polygon and this polygon will bridge those let's go up to the middle here and let's do our edge slice like so 
so and we'll grab the middle polygon and the middle polygon and we'll bridge those now we have us a pedal now let's sure this up go in here and we'll run our loop slices real fast We need to run some down through here. Like so. And I guess it probably wouldn't hurt to run them up through this way. Of course, it won't take a second to run some loop slices up through here like this. And I'm thinking we're going to need some maybe up through here too. Like that. So I'm going to do all these real fast since it don't take a second. As you can see, I'm laying these in there really quick. It's this don't it don't take nothing to do these. And that holds our shape of our pedal there. So now let's kind of jimmy this into place. that let's go back into polygon let's go back into polygon mode let's draw this out and I'm gonna bevel this actually before I do that I'm gonna take this back in a little bit closer there okay there we go let's bevel that now Bring it up just a tad, and let's sh shift click, bring it up, bring it in. There we go. Now we can butt this up a little bit better. There. Now I'm going to want to bevel that polygon there just so it'll hold. I'm going to want to loop slice these here. There, now we have a pedal in our system there. So, let's go ahead, select this, and select this. And let's see what happens when we mirror it. It looks like it looks pretty good there, so let's bring this over. Looks pretty good. We'll go on over the rest of the way with it there. So now, let's see here. What can we do? Um, let me see here what happens. i rotate this around 180 degrees. I'm going to make them off kilter to one another. like a real tricycle there now one's up and one is down okay and we have our rough completed tricycle <clears throat> I really hope you guys have learned something